11 and a half years ago, one of the computer science faculty members came to Zabrowski Institute and said, I am working with this amazing team of young STEM students at Hartnell Community College, but it needs to grow. And because of the success with that program, about five years ago, the Dean of Research here at MPS asked me to take on managing the Office of Naval Research internship programs. There are two. One is Science Engineering Apprenticeship Program, CAP, for high school students. And then the other is the Naval Research Enterprise Internship Program, or NREP, for university and graduate students. Our goal is to have many more students be interested in being scientists and engineers. Our ultimate goal is to get the best and the brightest to come work for us. It really takes a village to put together an internship program. I work with faculty mentors, military students that may be working with those faculty mentors. Our administration is very involved in the internship programs and other naval labs across the country that participate. The internships are held at about 35 Navy labs and warfare centers across the country. NPS is a little different because it's a university, it's a school, it's where people go to learn and do graduate research. So it's a different environment for our interns. This allows students who may not have the full range of opportunities a university like ours can offer to really get involved at a much higher level than they perhaps could in their high schools or colleges. And so this builds interest and we hope, of course, eventually that many of these people will pursue careers in the STEM fields. Our faculty mentors are world-renowned experts in their field. Those fields are rather small. So the students that are interested in studying those fields have a great advantage. Faculty can provide academic and career suggestions in addition to letters of recommendation, even introductions to colleagues that students that are not in internships would never get. They're getting a true research experience at working with a faculty mentor. Uh, they're learning how one conducts research, how one explores new questions, how one organizes information, and how one builds things. It is an unbelievable experience. The high altitude balloon that we worked on it was enlightening how much time it took to build the equipment that was needed in order to take the data readings we wanted. I had several uh, interns and they were working on different projects ranging from micro-ion thrusters using microelectromechanical systems and uh, carbon nanotubes. I had uh, students working on thermal energy harvesting as well as uh, microwave metamaterials. I've learned a lot about the overall teamwork that has to go into uh, preparing a project in order to uh, do an experiment. The work they're doing is fantastic. It's high level, Navy relevant work from kids who are in either high school, college, or graduate school. And it's great to see them really working on real research and enjoying it so much. One of the biggest impressions you get is just how excited they are about the experience they've had and what they've learned. It's really that excitement, I think, that will propel them into further interests in these engineering, science, and mathematics areas. They were challenged and also they were very productive. In each case, they provided the very useful data, benefited our graduate students here in their work. It's important the students that participate in this internship program reflect the general population. So for example, the majority of interns that come to us from Hartnell Community College are often first generation North Americans. They are often first generation college goers. These opportunities that are afforded them through the MPS partnership really provide um, eye-opening and career-opening opportunities for these young students. It's amazing how many incredibly intelligent people from across many different fields I have run into here. It gives the students the opportunity to really get involved in science and engineering at the actual laptop level. NPS is very proud of these students and we're very proud of this program. It's an effort to link them to important things related to, to national defense and to get them engaged in interesting ways in something we hope will support their future careers.